You can just see there, we saw the cones and we can see that the women are lined up on two start lines. Of course, we've only got six lanes indoors and we have got 14 women. So the women on the outside will run a little bit further. That's why the cones are there. There's Heather McLean. She's one of the favourites for this race. Of course, the one thing you will see, particularly given the uh, sponsorship of this event, is a lot of athletes part of the sponsor team. As we see Emma Coburn, the former World Stable Taste champion. Very popular figure, of course. Take a run on the outside. Some of those athletes in the second group there, Tanaka of Japan, Ali Wilson in the red and black as well. As these athletes set off then on their eight laps, over 1,600 metres in the women's mile. As you mentioned, the pace, Jenny, they're looking for something in around about the 420 region. Yeah, and that will be incredibly quick. The meet record is 424.80. And I'm a big fan of the way that the meet director has decided to start this race. Just gives all the women an opportunity to find some space. Really, really difficult when everyone's trying to fight for the same yards. But really, really sensible though. It looked about 34 seconds through that first 200 meters. And uh, we'll get a really good indication of what they're gonna go through. We're looking around about 65 seconds for every 400 meter circuit. So we should see that coming off shortly. So McGee, the pacemaker from Heather McLean, Lucia Stafford of Canada in third position. In behind her, Esther Guerrero. In fourth, Gemma Riki, we just got a shot of a moment ago as we see that split 64 at the quarter mile, Gem. Yeah, absolutely perfect pacemaking. And all the league and protagonists are there. McLean, well, she's run some personal bests in recent years. Sub two minute, 800 meter runner. She's got the fastest 1500 meters personal best, 358.76. She was seventh in the world championships. And Chris, you just mentioned her, Lucia Stafford from Canada. She's had a big breakthrough recently. Her sister, Gabrielle, actually won this race last year. She's just run a big personal best over 1000 meters. Again, a little bit like Femke Ball, one of those races, one of those distances that isn't run that often. Indoors is always a chance to do that. She went ninth on the all-time list over that 1,000-meter distance. Yeah, let's see. Stafford recently left the, uh, the Bowman Track Club and went back to her high school and junior coach in Toronto. As we see Riki fresh off that run last week in Karlsruhe over 800 meters. Danielle Jones is the one we haven't mentioned so far of the USA, who's a... Uh, Former NCAA 5,000 meter champion, a 427 athlete over the mile. Tanaka now, as we see Corey McGee, the pacemaker, step aside and lead Heather, Heather McLean out front at the moment, ahead of Lucia Stafford and Guerrero. Tanaka up into fifth position behind Danielle Jones, then comes Riki. Yeah, and the pace has just dropped slightly. We've gone from a 64 to a 67. But we can still see this is very, very quick. You can see the way that all the women are really strung out, one behind each other. There's no one passing at the moment, but it still is Heather McLean there out in front. 358, remember. Lucia Stafford in second position. Danny Jones of the USA, she's in third. And the Spanish athlete Esther Guerrero, she was the winner here last year. Do you remember that? It was the, uh, the Spanish invasion, three wins from the Spanish athletes at this meet last year. And Gemma Riki there just got herself up into fifth position. Just seen Emma Coburn go past her compatriot as well, Taryn Rawlins, just trying to hold on to that leading group of six or so. Emma Coburn, by the way, she does have indoor mile championship form. It's the NCAAs 10 years ago. So uh, before she became a fully-fledged chaser, she was doing stuff on the indoor mile. So McLean's still your leader then from Stafford Jones. Then comes Guerrero, Riki in fifth position at the upper end of her stamina. And strength, Tanaka of Japan in sixth position and a few spread out behind that as we see just a metre or two back to Coburn and the Chasers. Yeah, and the third quarter of the race was another 67 seconds. So McLean is keeping it really, really honest now. I'm just watching this now. I think five athletes has now gone down to four. Still McLean, Stafford, Guerrero and Jones. Enrique is going to have to work really, really hard with 200 metres to go. So they take the bell in around about 3.51, 3.52. And now McLean 
goes for the front. Her personal best is 4.25. Said a couple of years ago, the seventh placer from the World Indoor Championships. But now the challenge coming down the back from Lucia Stafford, who said she wants to be concentrating on the 800 metres, maybe maximum 1,500 metres. And she, he is, here she is rather at the upper end of her strength limit at the moment. Really testing Heather McLean. Lucia Stafford into the straight. McLean tries to come again. Stafford tying up. And McLean will time it to perfection. Gets there in the end ahead of Stafford. And we look at that time coming through, 4.23.42. It is a new lifetime best for Heather McLean. It is a world lead, of course, at this early stage of the year. PB's two for Stafford coming in and a Spanish record for Guerrero in third.